Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be learning how we can install Fluida Toolkit and CDN library which is useful for targeting our GPU while running deep neural networks. We always have a perception that if we have a GPU in our system and when we, whenever we are running our neural networks it is taking the advantage of GPU. But that's not the case unless you have a proper driver to do so it won't be using your GPU. So that's what this video is all about so without wasting any time let's get started. So before proceeding first we need to make sure that whatever GPU you are having in our system it is capable of running CUDA. For that we need to open CMD. Let me make it a little bigger. So inside CMD you have to run one command it is NVIDIA dash SMI. And if you are getting a message anything something like this it means you are your GPU is capable of running CUDA. And the next thing is uh, to check whether or not your CUDA libraries are installed. So for that you have to run nvcc space dash dash so it's two dash then version. So if you are getting some error message it means that you don't have the CUDA libraries installed. So let's go ahead and install the CUDA toolkits and libraries. So before that, uh, let me show you the problem statement. So first we'll benchmark the CPU, how much time it is taking for running a convolutional neural network. So it is a classic example of image classification problem using the cats and dogs images. So the data set is we are having one training and test data set. In the training data set, we are having cats and dogs, each one of 4,000 images of cats and 4,000 images of dogs. 4000 images of each on which our neural network will be training. Then there is a test set, 1000 images of each, cats and dogs, which will be using as a validation data. So let me open this in VS Code. So as you can see, it is a simple neural network. We are just importing the libraries, then we are pre processing the images of test and training data set. Then we are building a seven layer of CNN uh, uh, sequential model and then we are just training our model. For keeping the track how much time it is consuming, I am simply starting a timer just before just at the starting of the function. Then at the end I am just subtracting the timer after how much time it is consumed in training this model. So first I will run this model, I will select my virtual environment, it is CTF. So when you are running and if you are getting this error, uh, DLL error, CUDA R64 DLL110, so it means you don't have the CUDA setup. So this is by default if you don't install the CUDA toolkit and CRD in a library, so it will be by default targeting your CPU. As you can see, GPU setup on your machine. Ignore above CUDA or DLL error if you do not have a GPU setup on your machine. So the TensorFlow is assuming that you don't have a GPU on your system. So I'm running this neural network only on five epochs, which is not usually the case since I have to just benchmark this CPU performance versus the GPU performance. And one thing is that GPU there is a cost function in the GPU. Like CPU starts whenever the program targets to CPU, it starts immediately. But whenever the program is targeted towards CPU, then the data has to be transmitted to the multiple parallel cores in the GPU. So the data transmission there is a slight cost function at the beginning of GPU, but once the GPU is started. It is much much faster compared to the CPU. So CPU, but the CPU has a better clock speed compared to GPU. So clock speed is simply the electric pulses that the CPU uses for transmitting and switching the data. Okay, though, so our program is completed, and it took around 125 point, let's say 125 seconds for running this program on the CPU. Now we'll go and install the CUDA software. So for that, you can refer to the TensorFlow homepage. I have already bookmarked all those things. So, so this is the TensorFlow homepage, and here you can see like they have mentioned like for Windows and uh, TensorFlow 2.9. Uh, currently, it is running 2.9.1, and for Python versions 3.7 to 3.10, you have to install CUDN 8.1 and CUDA 8.11.2. So, if you go to the homepage of CUDA and CNN, they have diff uh, different version currently. It is around 11.7 CUDA toolkit and CUDN around 8.7 or something. But if you'll install the default version, whatever they are providing, so that won't work. So you'll have to go to the archives of all this CUDA and CUDN. 
so see i have to go to the archives of this thing i'll give the link of uh, this page in the description box so when you'll open this page you'll have to sign up and it is completely free and you'll have to select your operating system obviously it's windows then this architecture version 10 no worries if you are running windows 11 since it is compatible with 11 and then the exe local file then you have to download simply this file the cudn library is little difficult uh, in downloading as compared to qra toolkit since you have to sign up for the nvidia developer program so there will be some forms and you have to give one survey like for what problems you are using this and all those things so that survey thing and then upon going you have to look up for the january 26 i think there are a couple of 8.1 releases and on this you have to select 8.1 january 26 capable for 11.2 this file you can download i have not checked for this one maybe this will also work since it is supporting 11.2 so maybe you can also check with this but i ran only with this one so it was working fine so upon downloading you'll have some files i have already downloaded there will, there will be one set of 11.2 and this is simply a library so there are certain folders which you have to insert in the system path variables that I'll show and the installation of CUDA is pretty simple you have to just install and select next next it also supports Visual Studio integration so all these things like will be utilizing the GPU So the QDA toolkit is installed and for CUDNN you have to simply copy this folder to the OS folder or simply copy it here. And then follow along how we have to set this to the system path variables. So you have to open the start and then type system variables upon opening this you have to select this environment variables then in the system variables you have to select the path then click on edit then see here uh, before CUDA installation these two files won't be there but after CUDA installation these two uh, path will be automatically created here so this also indicates like your CUDA toolkit is set up. Now you have to provide the path of this CUDA CUDNN libraries. So hold down the left shift key, then copy as path. Then here you have to add new and then paste it and remove the quotes. Similarly, you have to follow for this thing also. Copy as path, new paste it and remove the quotes and for the library you have to copy this x64 architecture click on ok then ok for the system variables to get in action you have to like reboot your system so i'll be rebooting my system see you on the other side of the video Alright, so I have rebooted my system and let's see whether or not we are having any advantage of the installation of CUDA. So I'll open that folder again, open with PS4. So remember last time we were having 125 seconds in execution time. So my environment is set up and I'll run this code. And remember last time we were having some CUDA error. Now let's see if we are getting that error again or not. So we didn't got that error. It means our GPU is successfully set up. And see it is also indicating a GPU with 5484 memory. RTX 3070, it is the name of my GPU. So now it is utilizing our GPU. So last time when the program was running on CPU, the training started immediately as soon as we hit the running button. This time it took a little time, that's what I was saying, like a little there's while utilizing GPU, there is a little cost function in terms of times. The 
see now in every epoch see the time is re reducing first it took 82 milliseconds this is the highest time that it took since the data was transmitted to the multi parallel cores and once the data is transmitted see how it is decreasing 55 to 54 52 so when we have hundreds and thousands of epochs so the gpu is far far ahead than the cpu see how much time is reduced it is around 81 seconds compared to 125 seconds and this is also because i have just started my system and all the things are happening in the background that's why but compared to the number of epochs and all those things and uh, this difference will be huge and one of the main reasons is also that i have a good cpu so so let me know your time difference uh, with this simple cnn neural network i'll leave the link of this program and the data set as well in the description box if you want to so that's all in this video i hope you like this video and now you will be able to utilize your gpu while running your neural networks so if you have liked the video give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and i hope to see you in my next video